How to Calculate Percent Recovery in Organic Chemistry? When you're working in an organic chemistry lab, you often need to determine how much of a pure compound you can recover after a purification process. This is where the concept of percent recovery comes in. Imagine you have a mixture of a compound with some impurities and you want to purify it. The process you might use is called recrystallization. Here, you dissolve the impure compound in a hot solvent, let it cool, and then collect the crystallized pure compound. To calculate the percent recovery, you need to know two key amounts. The amount of the substance before purification and the amount after purification. Let's call the amount before purification the original amount and the amount after purification the purified amount. First, measure the mass of the substance before you start the purification process. This is your original amount. For example, let's say you start with 14 grams of an impure compound. Next, after you've completed the recrystallization process, measure the mass of the purified compound. Let's say you end up with 12 grams of pure compound. Now you can calculate the percent recovery using a simple formula. Percent recovery equals amount of purified compound, amount of original compound, x100%. Plugging in the numbers, it looks like this. Percent recovery equals 12 gram per 14 gram. X100% equals 85.71%. So in this example, you've recovered 85.71% of the original compound as a pure substance. This calculation helps you understand the efficiency of your purification process. It tells you how much of the original material you were able to recover in its pure form, which is crucial for ensuring the quality of your final product. Remember, the units of the substance amount must be the same for an accurate calculation. Whether you're working with grams, milligrams, or any other unit, make sure they match to get the right percent recovery.